It's a cloudy day in Hattiesburg for the second race in Android Cup Series history at this track. It's race five on the season number seven schedule. Pace car has to pit road on the pole. You have Anton Chabuatu's outside of Dylan Herminia. Third is Austin Murray. Fourth is Sam Oskin. And fifth is Eric Olsen. The rest of the qualifying order is on the left side of the screen as the pace car is in. Green flag is out. We're racing at Hattiesburg. It's a relatively good jump for the 04 over the inside lane at least, but it's the 41 on the outside trying to battle Anton Trabois, and he'll get a big run off the outside lane to lead that lap, but it's probably not going to be enough to complete the pass on Trabois. I was looking, Murray dive down low. He does his best to make room on that out or that inside lane to possibly force the 40 or the 04 up as here he goes again to the bottom Austin Murray trying to become your new leader the 04 nearly filled that hole between Murray and Elfer Minion I wasn't able to Oskin coming into the picture as well as Scott Upton who finished Way in the back, in fact, last, last race of the Pensacola Roval. We're going to rebound from that today and get in the top five, stay there, get a good finish. Now Wells is going to try and take over third. As you see, Upton used that outside to his advantage. That's not going to be enough heading into the front stretch as they go three wide back there trouble still falling back after being a pull sitter well as Osgin I'm pretty sure he started way up front as well and it's ever a minion Going to the inside for the lead, and he's going to take it away from Austin Murray. Now it's Upton to the inside of Murray, but 36 is looking to take it lower. He's going to get there, and Murray is going to fall back to fourth. But yeah, look at the 31. He, he got to run off the outside and is able to keep second. Well, 36 has to settle for a third. Maybe now settle for fourth as he gets passed by the five of Joshua Harrison looking for his second straight top five. The front four stay single file, but the next battle is for a top five spot. It's the 17 and three battling it out. And the 17 is going to be able to get that spot. Now we've got two side-by-side -side battles. One's for the lead, Scott Upton and Dylan Hervinian, and the other one's Joshua Harrison and Mathis Wells battling for third place. And Harrison might get a big enough run to try and take over second from a Herminian. Oh, Herminian makes contact with the 36. And now it's the five trying to go for the lead. As they go side by side down the back stretch and into turn number three, Harrison and Upton side by side. And then we head into the quad oval and out. Bouchols is trying to go back to back. I really don't remember when the last time anyone in the series went back to back you know, with race wins. So it could be a first for Jacob Bouchoules if he can get this. As right now he's to the inside of the five of Josh Harrison. Now Upton is there. As the five nearly makes contact with him. 36 trying to go to the inside of Joshua Harrison. That's our third. But right now it's Scott Upton trying to run down the 17. 
for the lead as Kyle Hunter has made his way up front as well. He is trying to take fourth away from Wells. Uh, 31, uh, he's running a little bit lower than the 17. That's going to put him to the inside down the back stretch. And they're going to battle it out in three and four. Five is watching it, and he likes it because that's going to give him an opportunity to catch up. In fact, he's going to catch him in turn one here. Runs a little bit lower than Upton. He's going to go to the inside. As they go side by side again. Between Upton and Harrison this time. Kyle Hunter hasn't had the best of seasons up to this point. Looking for a third on the 17. Thirty-one gives up the lead, possibly even second now to Kyle Hunter in the four car. As Murray tries to make his way back up front, but he's he's been halted by the twenty-five of Stephen Poland, who came up runner-up last race, but it also belonged to the seventeen, uh, whom he's battling right now. Now not able to get the pass. Now it's the 31 and 4. That's the battle that's heating up right now. Uh, 4 of Hunter is going to pull to the inside. And move the 31 out of the way. 17 also going to try and take advantage of that and take 3rd away. Pull in as well. Joshua Harrison continues to lead. As a pack of hungry drivers behind him. Bushols is going to try and take second away. Colin watches this. So he's going to try and get a top three spot right here. Taken away from Kyle Hunter in the four. Joe Jefferson has made his way up front as well as Carter Joey. And oh, look at that. The 33 down on the apron because of the 4. Sliding down the racetrack. I want to say that was by Joe Jefferson. It's single file among the front 4. Maybe in front 7 if we look a bit more back there. 3 and 31 start to battle, but up ahead of Colin and Joe Jefferson. Go side by side. As Bucholz tries to take on the 5, he starts to reel him in. It's crunch time now here at Hattiesburg. Mr. Jefferson was able to get that spot, but it's the 17 who still runs right behind the, the 5 of Joshua Harrison, but is not able to get it, as we have just 10 to go in Hattiesburg. And here we go to the inside, this is for the lead, Jagger Scholes. He's gonna get it. The five not he's not giving up. Harrison runs runs down the racetrack. Colin is gonna be able to take advantage of that. And go to the inside. Now he chases down Jacob Bouchols. And this is a duo we've seen battle for the win before. Just last race. So can the 25 get revenge? Or is it the 17's day once again? He's got a pretty good gap or the rest of the pack now he's separated from them. Now he's just got to reel in. 
Schultz. Murray is back into the top five. Now into the top. Oh, there's uh, there's skid marks, and Hunter has damage, but there is no yellow. Just to check something real quick. Okay. So it's far enough back that they didn't call it. So having Hunter another top break for him. As we head to five laps to go here at Hattiesburg. Still Bouchol is leading. The 25 trying to spoil the party, just as the 17 did to him at the Pensacola Road Course. Did he lose a little bit of time there, however? Four to go. Yes, he did. Gap is open back up. And to add on to that, the rest of the pack is caught up, so now he has Kyle Hunter and Carter Joy to deal with. Kyle Hunter is going to pull to the inside, in fact. Three to go. Does Hunter have the faster car to win this race? As he's running out of time, plus with Carter Joey in the rearview mirror. Two laps to go, the gap stays pretty much stagnant. Can Jacob Boucholz make history here at Hattiesburg? The O2 makes a dive bomb move down to the bottom, but it'll be a lot to catch Boucholz. He'll have to run him down on the in a lap. As there's the white flag, one more lap to go at Hattiesburg, and it looks like he has reeled him in a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough for the O2 to win this race. For the final time, down the back stretch. Half a lap away from history, and Jacob Buchholz is going to be the first driver to go back to back in the Android Cup Series. <laughs> It was the 17 coming out victorious once again. It was the 25 who fought a good fight. This time, he was on the seeking end of the battle. Instead of the, the one trying to defend himself. But Carter Joey was able to pass him in. He reeled him in just a little bit, but was not going to be able to get the done. Or the job done by, uh, against Jacob Bouchols, who now gets his second straight win. And Evan Hunter also, he wrecked. So we'll have to check out what that was about. It was on lap 23. So here's where it should have happened. Oh, the 90, or the 19. See that again. Just focusing on Joey Cover and Anton Trabois so much. It seems like the 11 went down to avoid that, but it didn't work. As he hits the wall pretty hard, but he stays straight through the whole thing, even on top of the wall. But his car stays relatively straight and is able to. It's able to not cause a yellow, I guess. Even though Evan Hunter was literally on the wall, it's not a yellow, and uh, 
I'm pretty sure at this point the leaders were pretty close to coming in. So yeah, that's that's where he disappears. And I think where are they? They're 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 near here somewhere. So you saw the three in the background of when he went to pit road. So those are the leaders right there. They're heading into turn or they're heading into the third part of the quad over basically. And then turn one. And Evan Hunter standing stopped at the exit of turn two, so I was pretty worrying if you were Evan Hunter. But yeah, one of the things you have to do at this racetrack is side draft, and the 19 took that a little bit too far, forcing Charles Vaud down the racetrack. And back up, and luckily they didn't cause an accident, but caused Evan Hunter to possibly be confused and it hits the wall pretty hard. So for the finishing results is Jacob Rucholas, who comes up on top once again. Carter Joey this time got second, Stephen Cullen with his second straight top five, but still not a win. He gets third out of the day. Austin Murray putting together a quietly good com uh, campaign. He gets fourth. Kyle Hunter got fifth. And Joshua Harrison got sixth. Seventh was Joe Jefferson. Eighth was Scott Upton, who fell off a little bit at the end. Ninth was Dylan Ravinian. And tenth was Roberto Crown Jr. Rest of the uh, finishing results on the left side of the screen. Only car out of the race was Evan Hunter in the 11 to that wreck. Other than that, we stayed clean and green for the entirety of the race. So that'll do it for race number five. Let's go to victory lane with the 17 of Jacob Ushuls again. Thank you for watching the Android Cup Series. We'll see you next time.